anticipating a great game of college football. It's time to coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. is lined up to kick the ball off first and we are ready to go he really got a hold of that kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it it out and this one's going to get intercepted he just jumped up and snatched that ball well there i don't think the quarterback even saw him the defender went up into the air and made a great catch we've got a first and ten all on their own 23 They'll give it off here. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. Could you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Taken down at the 46. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. First and 10, ball on their own 46. Feeds it to the back. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it second and eight. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. This one's going deep to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Auburn! This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. Tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 77-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Auburn's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He airs it out. 
Doesn't get there. Took a great play to make sure that long pass wasn't completed. Well, Brad, the quarterback had his man, and lo and behold, here comes the defender, and the play is over. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. He's tackled at the 26. Defense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Hoffman fields it at the 17, and down he goes at the 25. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Auburn is up a score. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Now he's scrambling. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Another run, and they'll get him in the backfield. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 37-yard line. Easy, easy. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 46-yard line. and run up the gut. From the 49-yard line, first down. Pitch out, got the corner. And they push him out at the 47. That's good for him. Second and eight. Auburn up seven points. Green nine, green nine, green 15. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they make the stop at the 41 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. throws it away so it's fourth down what do you think they're going to do here at this point in the game they might as well go for it they won't lose much field position if they don't get it and they only have a couple yards to go chapman is waiting for the snap this punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback the Tigers are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irving. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Caught and big hit there to stop it. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. And down he 
goes at about the 25 yard line. He wants it all. Oh boy, almost intercepted. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And this one is a beauty. And he just got drilled. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Auburn is up by a touchdown. Makes it out to about the 46. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. The halfback with a carry. Runs it left for a decent game. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it second to seven. out of bounds around the 43 yard line the pass is complete for seven yards and that'll be a first down nice protection a good pass and even a better catch you can ask for much more than that from the 43 yard line first down he's taken down at about the 43 yard line that makes it second and ten Makes it to the 31. From the 31 yard line. First down. He's at the 20. Brought down around the 14 yard line. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. Auburn is up seven. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. They try to get a head start there. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 70-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 14-0. Carlson looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Well, the Tigers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, right? you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. Hands it to the back. Runs outside for a nice game. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. They'll knock him down for a loss. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. out to about the 35-yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Throws this one out to the left. And that one's incomplete. Very interesting first quarter. Auburn's in front by 14. to the action now here in the second quarter. Kaufman, the return man. Kaufman takes it the 21. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Gets to about the 41-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Quickly to the tight end. Incomplete. down now and they need to get it inside the 49. Looks middle, got his back. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Smith is back awaiting the punt. Knocked out of bounds at the 21. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 45. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground.
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 45. He heaves it deep. And he hauls in the deep pass. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's into the open field. And he's taken down at the four-yard line. Touchdown, A&M. He really plowed his way into the end zone there. Great looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10-yard line, this halfback is automatic. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 80-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The score now, 14-7. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers' game plan is just what we've been seeing through a couple of quarters now. Give this guy the football and let him ram it down the defense's throat and just keep giving it to him until he gets tired or the defense gets tired. Well, the offensive line, I also think, deserves a lot of credit. You know, the, the back is the star. He's been getting most of the yards and most of the attention, but he's not doing it alone. The offensive line's paving the way and opening this thing up, and, and the running back's taking advantage of it. They've had a great first half. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down to the ground. They're about four yards away here on second down. Auburn is up a score. Makes it out to about the 39. Tackle at about the 41. Gain two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 41. That's a loss of five yards. That'll make it third and 13. From their own 36 yard line. Third down. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. Chapman to punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it to the 35-yard line. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he's tackled at about the 35. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. They hand it off again. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. 
Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48. Pressure coming, and the ball is loose. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. the corner tackle outside after a nice pickup Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Here's the eighth play of the series. He throws it. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Decides to slide. Tenth play of the drive. He's pushed out of bounds at the five. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. He's under some heat, and they get the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the nine-yard line. And they make the stop at the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it 30 goal. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Touchdown, Aggies! And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20, heading for the corner. He's knocked out of bounds around the 38-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Five. Let's check out the penalty. Receiving team. Flipping is the call, Still and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's going to be sacked. You know, the offensive line really let the quarterback down there. They've got to do a better job of communicating against the blitz. One thing to pick up a blitz, but you also have to obviously pick up your defensive lineman. That time, a miscommunication, and the result is a sack. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. from their own 38-yard line. First down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. So the sack makes this a second and long. Once and all, going deep. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Down the sideline. Touchdown. Big play. And for Johnson. He scores his second catch for six. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. And he converts the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Texas A&M's offense has struggled here in the second quarter. Kirk, what do they need to do to get uh, going on this next drive? Well, Brad, I think they need to reestablish the rhythm that they had early in this game. Just kind of go back to the basics of what that game plan was. Running the football, a passing game that you have confidence in. Just trying to become a little bit more balanced. And, and then I think you'll find that rhythm and make it easier to drive the ball and put points on the board. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Here we go! Green 19! Green 19! Caught enough for the first down. Brought down right around the 40. That makes it first and 10. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. This is a well-prepared defense. They know where to be, and they know what their opponent likes to do. And they play tight coverage as well. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Pressure coming. 
Quick out to his receiver. And he tackles him hard at the 47. So the Aggies are going to call their second timeout. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That makes it six. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, steps out of bounds at the 37. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. He's hit and taken down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 11 yard line. On the throw, incomplete pass. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Level at the five yard line. Throws it into coverage and it's intercepted. We've seen quite a bit of offense here as we reach halftime. Our score is 21 14, Tigers. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. Welcome back everybody. Second half action about to begin. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Auburn up seven points. Set. Blue 19. And he hits him hard at the 38. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Makes it to the 47. Little handoff. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards on the play. Red 
They bring the quarterback down. That'll bring up fourth and 13. And they're coming after this punter. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires right side. He's got his tailback. And he's taken down right around the 20. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Gets out to around the 28. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Scrambling around. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's a team. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. He fights forward to about the 43. Up the middle for a nice game. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. This is the eighth play of this drive. He heaves it to the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. And he's tackled at the 17. This is the 10th play of this drive. They're in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. So that three-yard scamper by the halfback is good for the first down. Another good run from this running back. Let's see if he continues to get his carries as they continue with this drive. They'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. Makes it to the eight. So again, a third down as the offense lines up. That 
That's a great tackle at the 16. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Texas A&M kicked this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Auburn is up four. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle around the 48-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Black five, black five. Nice run to the left there. Makes his way to about the 38. From the 38 yard line, first down. And they make the stop, the 37 yard line. There's a the play fake. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's tackled in the open field. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. Auburn is up by four. Play action. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Gives it to the back. Tackled after a decent pickup. He 
he makes his way to about the 48. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's at the 30. Makes it out to about the 23. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. He has to make better decisions than that. He should have known that there was no room to squeeze that ball in there. Gives it off, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. That brings up second and 13. Fakes to the back. Brought down at the 21-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers in front by 11. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's scrambling, and he dives forward. Now the defense didn't surrender much room there, but the run was still enough for the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So we're looking at another third down here. Tackle made around the 27-yard line. Chapman is waiting for the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Smith fields it at the 27, and he's taken down at the 34-yard line. 
We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. Recovered by the offense. Nice yardage on that run. That's a deep seven. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. They keep it on the ground, and a great tackle right there. the catch and gets out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35. Draw here. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. his way to about the 28. That's good for being at 10 yards. That makes it third and three. And this play is number eight on the drive. He fights forward to about the 26. The halfback gets a couple there on the counter. They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. Now they'll give it another go. Launches one for the end zone. Got it. Touchdown, Aggies. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. He's got the two. Texas A&M lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Auburn is up a field goal. And he's taken down at the 26. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Black five, black five. Blue 20, check, check. And it. With the pass incomplete. Jackson's intended to see it. He's tackled around the 31-yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes 
Makes it fourth and four. Chapman to punt. Smith fields at the 29. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. The Tigers kept climbing and scratching their way back in this football game. You can never count anybody out, I guess. Isn't it amazing to see what momentum can do in college football? This team right now has captured momentum. It's on their side. Now can they ride that wave to the end and try to win this game? They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 42. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Third and very long, and it's going to take a miracle to convert here. He fights forward to about the 39. Hoffman is back to receive. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's out to the 30. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back from their own 16-yard line. First down, Auburn has a three-point lead. He scrambles. Quarterback's gonna run it, and he's got room to work. Dives, and he's down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Tries to get around the corner. They'll bring him down at about the 31. So the Aggies will use their first time out of the half. Stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. Oh, excellent punt. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 35-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Fires that quickly, incomplete. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Eagle! 
Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they push him out at the 44. Now he's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. From the 45-yard line, first down. Just throws this one away. the tailback he's at the 30 and he's tackled right around the 14 yard line that's again 31 on the way first down first and 10 let's see if they can build off that great run the defense gets set as they hope to create another red zone turnover He's got it out to his tight end. And they make the stop at the two. That makes it first and goal. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. And he adds the extra point. So a seven-play, 65-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Auburn's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yep, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space. It's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. Strike to his receiver, no good. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. He goes downtown, keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. Well, out there, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. Tackle at the 19. The Tigers use their second timeout. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's taken down at the 11. Easy, easy. Flair. Flair. Under a minute left. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. Touchdown, and now they're in front. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Auburn is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. 
They bring him down. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. So not a lot of time left. And they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Texas A&M's called their final timeout. Auburn holds a field goal lead. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score on this one, Auburn 35, Texas A&M 32. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.